Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. What's up? We're here at... What's that place? Three Broomsticks? The Three Broomsticks. The Three Broomsticks. Not four, not five, not two. Three. Yeah, so we're going to get some uh, lunch dinner. That's what they call it whenever it's in between. Lunch and dinner. Yeah. Yeah. So, we've done uh, we've done Leaky Cauldron many times. Yeah. We've done this many times too, but let's see if it uh, still holds up. I hope so. I bet it will. Unsurprisingly, I went for the uh, British traditional, the British favourite, the uh, fish and chips. Um, Those are French fries. They're chips. Um, yeah, I first looks not too bad. It's reminding me very much of my school dinners I used to have, um, which I suppose it fits the theme really, as soon as you know we're over near Hogwarts and whatnot. Um, you went to school. Exactly, yeah. I assume everybody from England went there. We did, we did. So let's dig in. Fish is something that's uh, it's not always easy to get right, so a bit of tatar sauce on there. It's got a good crunch to it. Not yet, I will do. It's got a good crunch to it, the batter's there. Um, slightly cold, but I think that's just because we took photos of it before. But no, the flavour is there, I like it. It's very what good. did you get to drink? Oh, oh, I got the pumpkin juice. Um, and you've had it before? I had it once a while ago. I can't remember what it tastes like, but I remember enjoying it. So it's not as strong as I remember it being, um, but no, it's very good. It's pumpkin-y. It's always weaker on tap. So if you have it out of the bottle, it's like significantly sweeter. So. That's probably how, where I had it before, yeah. This is the first time I remember getting it in the cup, so, um, but it's still good. It's, I just remember it being, as Craig said, an awful lot sweeter, so, but still very enjoyable. But that's why I like just getting the old staple, the cold butter beer, because, well, it's the best thing the Wizarding World's ever created, and then you take a sip, get that delicious foam on top, mm. and you have the butter beer mustache. Yeah. I could drink just a cup of the, uh, the topping alone. It's, you can. Amazing. And fun fact, people ask all the time if they can get just a cup of the foam. You cannot. Oh, okay. I thought you were about to tell me I could then. I got no. really excited. That was that was anti-disappointment at its best. What'd you get, Craig? Oh, I got the shepherd's pie. Um, it's, it's, of course, served with a garden salad and the finest of Wizarding World uh, salad dressings. Ken's blue cheese. Leches. So, uh, I'm not very excited for this, actually. I love shepherd's pie, but... This looks like it's been killed to death. It's very bready. So, I don't know what's going to happen here, but I guess there's only one way to find out. Cut into it. I can see what happens. Yeah. I'm going to do this, like, tasty. Do it like surgery. The good news is, after we get under the layer of completely hardness, it does look soft on the inside. So, there is some promise. Let's see how that tastes. This could end up being very good. Only one way to find out though. Continuing to eat, to eat it. I got the chicken and ribs platter here. It comes with ribs and chicken, you guessed it, and the corn on the cob, and the potatoes, which I really like. These are always really good. They look super good. We'll see how the ribs are. I, I'm not a big rib person, but I think we can all share on these and everything like that. So, I'm gonna get into this, but I got pumpkin fizz. One of my favorite drinks here at the Wizarding World. I also really enjoy butterbeer, but pumpkin fizz is one of those ones you can't, not that you can get butterbeer at your house, but I love pumpkin juice, and I and this is just a different version of that, a little less, a little less uh, cheese. Wow. 
Can I get my ball phones in the winning mm. one? Get this. How about the shepherd's pie overall? Empty. Uh, the shepherd's pie was actually ever. Yeah, Okay, I, I messed with it a little bit um, because the top was so overburnt and crispy, but the bottom inside was good. The meat was pretty spot on. Everything was decent about it, but I put in a little bit of malt vinegar to kind of up it. So, you know, if you're a fan of malt vinegar and you want this meal, I think it could kind of add to it. Um, but, you know, it, it's solid. This is definitely not, that meal was not leaky cauldron level, but we're not at Leaky Cauldron or Three Broomsticks. What do you think of your fish and chips? Well, <laughs> as a fish and chips connoisseur, um, I would say it didn't actually rank that high. I was actually, I wasn't disappointed, but I don't know. I would say it's my overall review would be it's just not bad. The chips weren't like spot on. The fish was slightly cold and I did realize because the chips were warm that actually it was the fish that was a little bit cold. Um, I've had better, and I've had better in America as well, which, you know, says something. So, it wasn't disgusting, but it wasn't amazing. Yeah, I thought I thought the chicken and the ribs were good. I don't normally eat ribs, but I figured I'd just try it because those, those two come separately as well as together. So, you can just get a chicken platter, you can just get a ribs platter, or you can get the chicken and ribs platter. So, I figured I'd try it. The ribs are pretty pretty good, actually. Um, they're, you know, it's, the, it's a theme part. So it's on the better side of theme park food, for sure. They're not like the best ribs I've ever had. But I'm also not a rib connoisseur. And, um, but the chicken's really good. I like the potatoes. I like the corn on the cob. I don't know. It makes me feel, I'm sure it's not very healthy, but it makes me feel like I'm doing a little bit of a healthier eating when I order that kind of stuff in a theme park. And I feel like I really appreciate that it's on the menu. But now, it's time for my favorite part of the meal. The dessert. <laughs> the perfect combination butter beer and cool whip mixed together and then stuck in a little tiny glass pot this tastes amazing as soon as it touches your tongue you know instantly it's bad for you and that is the cornerstone of a good dessert i think this is so i've had the i've had the butter beer fudge which i love the frozen butter beer is my favorite the hot butter well i really like hot butter beer too but it's way too hot to have that this heavier now this um, you gotta try this. This is a must, must do, yeah. It's right on par with that butterbeer ice cream. I just love that they keep coming up with all these butterbeer related things that you can have. So definitely get this as a dessert. Now the important thing about any trifle, whenever you dig in, is you want to get every no single beef layer. In this tri including so, the beef. Yes, we, we start here with a layer of chocolate, a layer of cream, a layer of chocolate, a layer of strawberries, a layer of beef, a layer of cream, and then sauteed some peas. peas right down <laughs> in here, and then also strawberries hiding all that. So let's see if I can get all the way to the bottom. I think like a cross section of this. Give me some room, give me some room. Almost made it all the way. If you're a chocolate, covered strawberry fan. This is a, a dessert for you. Good mixture of all flavors. I want that raspberry on top if no one's gonna eat it. Just take, just just take it right now. now. Do it or I'll eat it. Yeah, that's a Driscoll's. You know, considering there's so much like chocolate and cream and like heavy, heavy uh, foods in there, the fruit doesn't get lost at all. It's really well balanced. I like that a lot. I like that a lot more than I thought I would. It's not as good as this. Eh. It's alright. I, I, the chocolate's a little more on the... Uh... No, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Chocolate's a little more like on the darker side, less rich than I expected. Um, but if I were to pick one or the other, I would go with the, the butter beer. I always go with any Harry Potter thing thing, whereas that just seems like a standard dessert to me. Not a bad dessert, but you're right. If anybody likes chocolate, strawberries, it's definitely the dessert for them. All right, we're done eating, and final thoughts, Craig. Yeah, it's uh, it's just as good as it was the first time I ate here. Uh, not the best theme park food you'll ever find. Definitely not as good as Leaky Cauldron over in the other park, 
but it, it's still a solid meal and it might be the best thing you can get quick service style at Islands of Adventure at least, so it's worth a shot. Oliver? Um, overall, it's pretty good. I mean, like, my, my actual uh, meal itself, I'd say, was just average at best, but the dessert, that clotted, um, clotted butter beer, was absolutely amazing. That was like a 10 out of 10. I would come back just for that alone. Um, so, yeah, I'd say that probably pulled up the whole score for me. Um, yeah, nice environment. It's It looks pretty accurate. Like, that's what, you know, uh, places in England do look like. So, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd probably come back. It might just be for a dessert. I would come back. Well, I also really enjoyed it and I agree with Craig that I think it is one of my favorite places at Islands of Adventure to eat, for sure. Um, for the reasons I said earlier, I just feel like I'm eating a little bit healthier. It's not fried food necessarily. I'm mean, a little bit, but it's not, it's not, I don't know. It, I, I like the atmosphere, like what you said. And on that note, for the dessert, so if you're going to come in here, it has its own bar. The Hogshead um, Bar. Hogshead, right? Yeah. Um, which is one of my favorite places to come to get a drink because you can get pub, no. a pub. Brits have pubs. Pubs. I do. It's my favorite pub that you can come to and it's connected to the restaurant and um, if you go in there you can get the Hogshead Tea which is a Long Island iced tea but they make it without soda because there is no soda at the Wizarding World and it's really really good and it's really really strong so it's definitely worth its money. Um, and then another tip on that if you're coming for like a butter beer you can actually get your annual pass holder discount on the better beer inside of there, but not the one in the cart. So that's a little tip for you. So I, I really like this place. I like there's outdoor seating, indoor seating, the atmosphere, all that. I think I think we've said a yeah, lot about how much we so, like Harry Potter. So check it out and let us know what you think. <laughs>